Hi hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to a new video on this channel. Today I'll be giving my opinion on several comebacks that have happened this February. I can't comment on all of them because there are too many, but I'll talk about the most notable ones. This month I've had a variety of opinions. I believe both good and bad songs have been released equally. So, without further ado, let's get started. The first time I heard this song, I found it quite boring to be honest, but I'm starting to like it more and more. It's a ballad that I don't quite understand from a business perspective, why would they release a slow song in English after Batter Up? It's the kind of song I would put on my study playlist. The music video is also very good, and this girl in particular has caught my attention a lot. I don't know her name, and in general, I don't know any of the girls. They're going to make a comeback soon. So if I like it, maybe I'll start to look into them a bit more. If he gives them good promotion, of course, because otherwise it's going to be impossible for me. Lastly, I want to say that the final part is the best. They have really good vocals, and it seemed like with their debut they were hiding them. I understand they want to continue the vibe of Blackpink as tough rappers, but I don't want them to waste their vocals because they are really good, and they sound very good together. <laughs> It's difficult for me to like this song it's not my style at all, and even after hearing it multiple times on TikTok, I still don't like it. There are other songs on the album that I like much more, although I understand why they chose this song as the title track. If you want a more detailed opinion from me on that, I made a ranking of all their title tracks in my latest video. Thank you, BB for reviving the concept of a girl who does what she wants and talks about her sexuality without having to be ashamed of anything. It's not my favorite song of hers, but I love that she makes songs like this. I'm sorry, but I don't have a definitive opinion. It hasn't been the best song Twice has released, but it's not the worst either. I don't know how to feel. The first time I heard it, I was very sure that I didn't like it, but now I'm not so sure. They've implemented many things that I feel people were asking for, like not including random raps that didn't fit the song. Still, I feel like this style is more similar to the song's twice releases in Japan. I feel like many people are like me, unsure of what to think. I haven't seen many people who hate it, but it's just another song. How is it possible that this group never disappoints? It's something worthy of study. I don't even follow them, but I like all of their title tracks, and they just keep getting better. Their debut, for me, is their weakest song, and this latest one is the best. I feel like P1 Harmony is what many boy groups want to be but can't. I don't know how they always slay everything at the songs, the outfits. And the music videos are so well produced and edited that I find resources and set designs that don't resemble anything any other group has done. And speaking of the song, what can I say? This is how you make a good song, with well-implemented rappers and vocals. They have swag and flow in the right places. For me, the best part is the chorus, but everything about it is perfect. I haven't heard any song weirder than this one, not only because of the guy who keeps making nonsensical noises throughout the entire song, but also because this group is very young, with one member born in 2009, and they're trying to portray a tough concept as badass rappers. It doesn't suit them well, and I think the company is following this concept because they know people will talk about them since their debut was very controversial. But I'm not sure if this is the way to go about it. This song gives me a lot of grinch, and I hate to use this terminology, but it's not just a matter of taste, it's the company's fault. What is their vision? What do they intend to do with a group when people get tired of them trying to grab attention with every song? People in the comments mock them, and the only thing I can highlight is that the music video is good. I like how it's edited, but I have nothing else good to say. Don't you 
I'm not sure if this is the main song of the album or if it's Think About, but I'm going to talk about this one because it's the one I like the most. It's a fun song, and I'm not sure if it fits Moon by Elle's style very well because to be honest, I've never paid too much attention when she released solo songs, apart from her role as a rapper in Mama Mo. In this song, she sings, and her vocals are very good, obviously, everyone knew that, but it goes really well with the rhythm, and hopefully, more people will get to know her with this song and she can release equally good songs. I really like the rhythm it has. Let's all thank the goddess Moon by All for releasing such a great song. I have to say that this isn't my type of music, but Ten makes me like it. His expressions, the perfect dance that accompanies the song, and how he dances is simply perfect. If I start talking about his vocals, I'll never finish. I really like Ten's musical journey, and I hope he continues like this because the concept suits him very well. Despite it not being my favorite, I have to admit that it suits him perfectly. If you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I love the concept of happy and cute guys. It's a pity because there are quite a few groups that debut with that concept but end up changing to a tougher concept, and there are hardly any cute guy groups left. That's why if you like these concepts as much as I do, I recommend this song and this group. I don't know much about them, but they give me very good vibes and I'm going to start paying attention to when they release new songs because they seem like very talented guys. And this has been all, I hope you like it, make sure to like and subscribe if you did, it would help me a lot, see ya.